this so we're gonna see right now does it look like this on the right by the shore это не реально как финляндия тут стиль хоть не финские строители но давай все сколько знаю он кирпичный Russia. This is Viborg city. Viborg and we're gonna have an interesting walk right now in Viborg city suburbs. Uh, maybe some little water. So uh, welcome to join. Please subscribe and uh, leave a comment and keep on chatting. I hope you guys enjoy the city of Viborg. We are starting off from this uh, railway station as we usually are. Railway station Viborg and uh, keep joining. All right, let's go. Just arrived from St. Petersburg and it was plus four degrees. And arriving to uh, Viborg, it's, it's minus degrees. It's cold, it's windy and it's snowing. So go figure. Hello, Scott. Check it out. The first First, uh, we're gonna explore a little bit the uh, other side of this railway station and across the, the tracks. We're gonna go actually here, Malai, Finlandia, small Finland. It's basically it's supposed to be looking like this, so we're gonna see right now does it look like this on the right by the shore. All right, put this picture in mind and we are going there now and continue on to the older suburbs of uh, Viborg. And this is a new for me as well. Yes, exactly. So we are now located here. We're gonna go over here for our trip right now. Check out the name of this church. This is Vyborska Eparchia, Sviato Ilinski Hram, uh, Saint Ilias, Ilias Church. That's what it is. Sorry. Let's go. Not gonna go in, but sorry for that. But let's check out the neighborhood. Whoa. During the summertime, this is probably a really nice place to walk around before the service or after the service by the way this is something this is a it has finished finished text on it kaikkien täällä maan lepoon siunattujen muistoksi for all those who have been buried here for their memories let's go back to the left joiden maalliset jäännökset purivat for all those whose remains were uh, bothered uh, during what? I can see probably during the depression, uh, not depre depressive, not de what's the word? Oppressive times. That's what it says probably. This is probably financed by the Finland wants to somehow remain its memory over this uh, lost city. That's what I understood. All right, guys.
those times, depending on the city, of course, but I would presume that yes. So guys, we now finally arrived to Malai, Finland, small Finland. And uh, these buildings, I don't know who's building it. It might not necessarily, it wasn't Finnish company. Not even the one who left. Not UIT, YIT, none of those. So, uh, and here's actually also abandoned houses in the middle of new buildings. So this is Russia, like it's easier just to surround them with new or just destroy, but these are not even destroyed, check it out. I hope this is not like a private area. So this is like the basement of a house. Old house. No, somebody lives here actually. So this is a private area. I'm not going there. <laughs> this is something, an old platform of a building. This one is a living area house as well, but it looks almost abandoned. And it's, by the way, take a second and just enjoy this view, by the way. It has some rough patches, but it's beautiful. I just realized it. Beautiful old trees covering, covering this road, street here, new buildings. People have moved in already, so these are actually already pre ready buildings. So this is we can actually walk inside Little Finland, and those are new buildings that are gonna be built here in addition. Beautiful view over the over the sea or bay, whatever that is. Yes. And what was it? I forgot the. Was it 14 million? Somebody who's watching this, can you go back to like to the first minute of this video? What did they add? What was it this way? What's the starting price of this of these houses here? Kind of little Finland. This is awesome guys. Whoa. Summertime, I hope that they're gonna get it ready until the summer or during the summer. And th by the way, style of buildings is very Finnish. Now I get it. It's it. Oh, sorry. The style of buildings of these houses is very like Finland. Like for real, they're not tall. For Finland, they're quite tall. But still, for Russia, they're really not that tall at all. That's like eight stories high. Windows covering windows. That's uh, something that in Finland is common among the new buildings. And all of these buildings are right on the edge of the, of the shoreline. The difference compared to Finland, of course, is that uh, in Finland often you have benches only for one person. <laughs> but, um, but I'm sort of joking, but it's true. And you don't have these kind of too fancy trash bins like that. So guys, what you guys think? And by the way, for you who's interested, we might be going there. Over there we can see, let's go up. Over there, we can see uh, the Vibor Castle. And please, no politics, and no Western, no Western, like, you know, rumors even a bad blood for all this. Okay, this place, I, I would buy this, but it's a big one. It's too small city for me. At least, at 
least it's Russia. All right, guys. I think we should go back because let's go through here. Because I'd like to see. Oh, this is a tall, tall climb, long, long climb. This is something I don't know what for. What are we gonna do here? It's probably locked. Yes, with the domophone. Somebody's apartment here. These are very expensive buildings, especially houses. Ah, oh, you cannot go through there. What a shame, but enjoy the view. This is like a million dollar view. Imagine just go out. And these cars, unfortunately, are here. That's something very, very Russian. Yeah, definitely it gets busy, but Viborg is different to St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is busy throughout the year, especially in the summer, spring, and uh, like nighttime. But uh, yeah, there you go. Check it out. Can you see in the back? The castle. So, uh, but definitely also in Viborg, but Viborg is, it gets really quiet, just like Finland. Because there's, it's a small city, so there's not a lot of action. Should we go there, maybe, or not? Там пройти можно, знаете? Обратно в город. Спасибо. Красивый район у вас. Это вот, 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 вот тут все. Да, да, ну вот и вот будет тоже, да? Дальше увидишь, обнять и плакать. Не, я уже оттуда пришел, вот я и говорю. Вот это реально как Финляндия тут стиль, хоть не финские строители, но. Стиль финский. Вот этот строили финны. Финны, да? Это да, единственный построил. Юита? Юита? Которые финны построили? Да. А, те уже все пошли. Ага. Тот тоже круто застроили. Вот эти уже вот эти два. Наши потому что сколько знаю, он кирпичный. Ага. А те уже пошли. А вы в этом уже в финском? Да, здесь. Ну там хорошо, наверное. Да, да. Цены высокие, питерские, прям цены. Да, реклама вот и стоит там у... Все же стоит. Вот именно, что стоит, ничего же не продается. Да? Все квартиры, кто продают, очень подолгу продают. Квартиры, кто продает, с того года. А. -а, -а. Ну, у нас квартира в Питере, мы также продаем. Тоже ничего не продается сейчас. В каком районе? На Черной речке. Ой, я там жил. Знаете, самый высокий дом такой, ужасный. Прямо около Черной речки метро. Самый высокий. Там. Где это? Напротив метростанции. Секшоп. А? Секшоп. А, да, рядом с ним вот вот. А... Такой, который во все стороны вот так. А... <laughs> да. Ну, в аренду, аренду не это. А... Тут лучше. Вы снимаете обзор про. Да, да. А, ну, я для... сам. Не, просто я люб... снимаю весь выборки и хотел вот сюда. Я сам еще из Финляндии, ага. так что я сравниваю с Финляндией. Я говорю, вот это реально как Финляндия. Вот стиль. Я реально почувствовал себя как Финляндии. Сейчас вот надо поехать как раз обратно. Не знаю, в Финляндии, конечно. В Финляндии вот смотришь, что вот так вот э, жить лучше, но они живут. Думал, как переехать. Ага. А Сын в Финке тоже живет. А. Вот, вот. Тоже приехать, уехать. А, ну вам кстати, там можно ехать сейчас а из-за... Что там делать? Там, чтобы 2000 заработать, надо пахать как конь. Не-не, больше, чем 2000 надо пахать. 2000 это средняя зарплата. Но и... Нет, я имею в виду по нынешним а, меркам. Здесь, как бы, мне кажется, за эти деньги ну, за... Ну, тоже пахать надо. Но здесь как-то попроще, мне кажется. Ну, может быть. В Германии у меня там отец там, упахивается вообще, то он там 3,5 получает. Вот, да. 
Это он там еще подхалтуривает. Ну, как бы это ты встаешь там в 5 утра и едешь на работу. Но приезжаешь, ты здесь, посмотри, в 9 еще все спят. Ну, как там, по-разному. В какой раб в сфере работаешь? Ну, в Питере он... люди рано и поздно приезжают, вижу, там да. по 12 ну, часов. Потому пахают. что больше, потому что а, у меня, ну, я здесь, в Питере живу, то есть мне жена в Питере сейчас ну, сюда собираюсь приезжать, потому что а она почему да, сюда? с черного речки. Здесь можно спросить. И... Почему сюда? Почему выбор? У нас сейчас второй ребенок, и чтобы ну, для детей, чтобы школа учиться. Ну вот она едет на работу, выезжает, а вот мы встаем, вот мы на черной речке до садика, а ну на черной речке чуть-чуть, мы встаем пол седьмого, чтобы вот это возле метро все, да -да. А кто добирается ездить, там и в пять встают, там еще что-то, да -да. здесь, сзади к девять, ты просыпаешься без пятнадцати девять, за пять минут собрался, я тут все близко, да, пять минут доехал, да, и тут возможно будет какие-то, можно всем заниматься, ну, скажем, я думаю, до третьего, до пятого класса. И на машине, на, на машине в Питере, если что, там можно идти. Вот мы тоже вот вчера поехали, его повез это, в бассейн. Вот мы выехали вроде заранее, угу. значит, на набережной встали в пробку вот, да, до бассейна, вот, вот. и машину не бросили, пешком не побежишь. Да, и проблема там. И не пошли никуда. Все. Давай, всего хорошего. Да, взаимно. Да. All right. Interesting talk. He was asking what you feel when he was telling about life. He's actually, he's got a son. Uh, well, check it out, the view. He said that he's got a son in Finland. And I said, well, I'm from Finland and this looks like Finland. And uh, he said that this first house was actually built by Finns. And the rest is was built, continued or built by the Russians. So even though it's the same design, but yeah, he said you can go through here somehow. Let's see, through here? Yes. And uh, interesting, what else did he say? He said he was thinking his wife lives in uh, St. Petersburg and they actually move into to, uh, here because of this, his, uh, this younger son. Younger son, uh, he said. Uh, he said that uh, in, in Saint Petersburg, you know, if you go to like that, he was saying he was going to uh, swim, swimming pool, swimming hole, and it took like uh, they were, got stuck in the uh, the traffic. And here, everything is closed. So. Close in Saint Peter, uh, in Viborg. And, uh, and then I said, "Well, hey, you got a son. You can actually go to Finland." And he said something that I totally <laughs> agree with. He was like, "Well, what, what to, what, should, uh, what for? There's nothing to do in Finland." And I agree. <laughs> It's a beautiful but really boring country. Man, what a view here! This is like really. Contra area of contrast. So, this is where we came from. Yes, this is the spot. We're going over here to the, to the main street, to the city.